All right, so we're back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna model something else. Uh, we're gonna model a simple USB uh, thumb drive, just to add more detail to the scene. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna maximize this uh, camera view here. Then I'm gonna hit Alt-6 to open up my image clip viewer and I'm gonna go to File, Import, and actually have an image here of a USB drive I found on the internet. I'm gonna knock this image down to about a quarter of its actual size. This makes it uh, more manageable here. Okay, so here's a reference image. It's a pretty generic, pretty standard USB uh, drive. We're going to go ahead and model the body, and we're going to model the little cap piece and make it separate, and we're probably going to put it in the same pose just so that it looks, uh, I don't know, a little more detailed, a little more realistic in our scene. Now, we don't have to stick with exactly what we see here. This is, of course, just for reference. We can create any type of USB drive that we want. So let's start to block this thing out and get it done. All right, first thing I'm gonna have to do is start off with a polygon cube here. So I'll start off with a cube and I'm gonna go ahead and close that PPG, switch over here to shaded mode. And let me get rid of my grid by hitting G on the keyboard. Now see it's gotta be pretty thin, so I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down a bit so it gets thinner. Something like this is good. Now, it's uh, too wide, so let's thin it out a bit in terms of the width. So something like that will actually work. And we can see it's too short. It's not long enough, so let's actually make it longer. Something like this looks like it's going to work. Let me actually make it a little bit wider, like that maybe. Okay, so we got the overall base shape of this area right here. We have that blocked out and done. So... Now let's start to set up a little bit more here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this polygon here, hit Control D to extrude it. I'm gonna pull it out a bit, and this is gonna be the cap piece. Now, I'm not making a cap piece separate just yet. I'm gonna make it part of the actual uh, object for now, and then later I'll separate it. You'll see why. So, I'll go ahead and make the cap piece. Uh, it's about that long, and just realized something, I might want to make this actually a little bit uh, fatter here, a little bit thicker, something like that maybe. Okay, so we got the overall uh, shape blocked out. Okay, so now we got the overall shape blocked out, we can start to go ahead and detail this and start ripping parts out of it to create the different pieces and things. So let's go ahead and start actually doing that. Let's start off maybe with this cat piece, okay? So what we're gonna do is we can see that this has this groove. Now, it would be easy for me to say, no, nah, let's, let's leave it straight and no groove. And some USB drives don't have that little groove right there that goes like that, uh, this little swivel kind of piece right there. But because it's a bit of a challenge and because you probably wanna figure out how to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. So it's pretty simple. This is what we're gonna do. I'm going to select this edge right there, alt middle click that one to select the entire ring. I'm going to hit shift D to go ahead and split that down the middle. And then what I'm going to do is let me go to wireframe mode here. I'm going to go to point mode, select the two points that are in the middle. So the one that's on the top there and on the bottom too, I want to make sure I get both of them. I'm going to push that down a little bit like this. Okay, all right, now that I have that done, what I'm going to do is, let me see what else I can do to this right as of right now. I'm going to go ahead and select this edge here, and then alt middle click this one there to pick the entire ring around, see that? And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to, let me see... Actually, I'm going to hit Shift D to split that down the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this edge here and Alt middle click that edge there to pick the entire loop of edges all the way around. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit Bevel Components so I can make that little split right there. And what I'm trying to make is this little tiny uh, sort of split that goes right there through the middle. But you can see it seems to only be visible or really pronounced on the body of the USB drive and not the cap. So we're gonna keep that in mind for later. 
Now, right now, this uh, groove is too wide. You can see it's really, really thin on the actual USB drive. So let's knock the distance on that down to about, I don't know, 1.5 looks, or sorry, 0.15 looks pretty good. So I'll leave it at 0.15. Okay, now with that done, uh, let me see what else I can do here. Let me see. Let me go to polygon mode, and I'm going to go ahead and select all of these polygons up here, as well as all of these polygons down here. And with that done, I'm going to go ahead and right click, and I'm going to hit inset. I'm going to insert those polygons in a bit. Something like that actually looks pretty good. Let me go to transform and I'm going to scale this. Uh, no, I'm going to scale this in the Z. So I'm kind of trying to get that thinned out shape that's right here. You can see it's kind of sticking out. And I'm going to go to extrude and I'm going to use the length parameter to push that up a little bit. Something like that. So you can see it's actually pushed up. This area in the center there is actually pushed up like that. So that's pretty good. Oh, the bottom part there uh, got kind of messed up. I'm probably going to have to extrude that individually. So let me actually go ahead and select that. Go to selection. Let me get the extrude up and get rid of it. So let's just do the top first and then we'll do the bottom. So we'll get the top. Right click. Let's go to inset polygons. And let's inset it all the way. And we'll take the length up to about. Let's see. It looks like taking the length about that much is going to be good. So it looks like two is going to be the magic number here. Okay. All right, so we'll do a two with an instant amount of one. And I'm probably going to scale this in a little bit. So let me go to Z and let me scale it in just a bit. So let's try 0.8. Looks like a good number. Let me close that. I'm not going to worry about the bottom. What I'll do is I'll use the symmetry uh, operator to go ahead and do the bottom for me. So let's go ahead and... I'm actually going to delete these edges, these uh, beveled edges I created here. There's a reason for that. Let me get rid of that. With this object selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Modify Poly Mesh. And let's go to the, I'm looking for the Slice, Slice Polygons. But I don't want to slice in the X axis. I actually want to slice in the Y axis. So it gets cut uh, down the middle. And you can see it's, it doesn't have it exactly through the middle there. So I'm going to undo. I'm going to slice this another way. I'm going to select this edge. Alt, middle click that edge right there. I'm going to hit Shift D to slice that straight down the middle because that's actually the, the middle plane I want to do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these bottom polygons. And I'm going to grow the selection one time. So it's going to grab basically half of the model there. And I'm going to hit delete. And then what I can do is symmetrize this. But I'm not exactly going to symmetrize this just yet. I don't want to at the moment. Because I'm going to make uh, more edits and things up here. And I really don't want to do twice the work. So I'm just going to focus on editing the top part of this right here and then we're just gonna symmetrize that to do the bottom the other half of the work for us okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edge mode here and let me see which ones I can do I'm gonna pick this edge here and then alt and middle click that edge so I can select that entire area around there I'm gonna select this edge alright so let's just keep selecting edges here I'm going to select that one. I'm going to select all of those. Uh, I'm also going to select that one and that one. That one right there. That one right there. 
this one, this one, this one. Let me see which other edges I have to select. Here's another one right there. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go ahead and bevel that. So right click, bevel components, add a couple of divisions. And let's bevel it something like that. Let's actually do a render region, see how that looks. And that looks pretty good. Maybe something a little bit tighter. That looks pretty good. Something like that looks pretty decent. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. So that looks pretty good. We got pretty much the shape and the, the type of uh, detail that we're looking for in this kind of an object. Okay. Alright. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and freeze modeling on it. Alt right click and I'm going to hit symmetrize. Now it's going to try to symmetrize on the x axis, but we need to change that and tell it to symmetrize on the y. So once it symmetrizes on the y, we're going to get the, the correct half uh, symmetrized or mirrored here. Now it does look kind of thick, it does look kind of fat, a little bit fatter than, uh, than what I probably want it to be. So let me actually scale the whole thing down a little bit. Something more like this looks uh, a little bit more reasonable, a little bit more faithful to the to the real one. So once you find a good thickness that you like, you go ahead and add a little bit more detail to this. For example, um, I can see that I have to select this edge here, and then I'll alt select that edge right there. And with those selected, I'm actually going to push those outward. Turn on COG. Like that. Not too much, just a very subtle effect. I'm going to right click and I'm going to bevel that. Increase that distance. Let's try something like six. Ah, that actually looks pretty good. And give it some rounding. Maybe four. So it kind of has that little bit of a bulge that sticks out, which this one seems to have in the picture. Okay. Alright, so that's good. The top doesn't seem to have a bulge. Alright, so now that we got that done, we have to go ahead and rip this, rip this apart a little bit. So, let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is select these polygons back here, those four. And I'm going to grow the selection a few times up to that point. I'm not going to grow past this point or else it's going to select these polygons here. And that's not what I want. So let me go to a front view here. Let me hit Y and I should be able to select all the polygons right here that I want. Let me go back to my camera view and yep, those are polygons I want. All of these right here to represent the cap. So all I have to do is right click I'm going to extract polygons and I'm going to delete the old ones. So this is a completely separate piece. I'm going to freeze modeling. If I move this, you'll see it is, in fact, a separate piece. Okay, that's good. All right, so let me pull this piece out. And now what I have to do is a little bit of editing here. Let me actually pull this out a bit. Now I have to go ahead and seal, seal these uh, these open edges uh, with actual geometry. So let me go to edge mode, and let me see what would be the best way to do this. Let me select this edge here. I'm going to select that one. I'm going to select these. I'm going to select all of these right here. All of those. This one that one, this one, actually essentially what I'm going to do is go ahead, select one of the edges and alt and middle click 
uh, one of the other edges to select all of them. But, but, I'm going to go ahead and deselect this one and this one. As well as the, these two at the edge right there. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to bridge boundary edges. I'm going to increase this threshold to, let's try 10. And that's actually not very good. And it's not doing such a great job. So let me undo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two edges. These two edges. I'm going to right click and I'm going to bridge those boundary edges. Let's use a distance of... 20 seems to work pretty good. I'm going to select this edge, Alt, select that edge. Then I'm going to hold down Shift, select that edge, Shift, Alt, select that edge. And I'm going to do the period key to repeat that. 10 doesn't work. Let's try 20. 20 worked just fine. I'm going to do select that edge, this edge. And then I'm going to select these edges here as well as these edges here make sure you don't select anything in the background over there by accident and I'm gonna repeat try 20 and that's not gonna work out too well so it's kinda getting confused there too many edges selected at once so I'm gonna select all those edges and try 20 and that worked just fine I'm gonna select these two and repeat and it worked just fine there. I'm going to select this one as well as that one. And this one. And this one. And I'm going to repeat. And that didn't work out too well. Let's try those two. That worked. Let's try these two. That worked. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select these two. Get those in. I'm going to select these two. As well as that one. And that didn't work. So let's get those two. Let's get these two. And of course we still have that one uh, little spot there. Let's see if we can nail that one shut. We still have uh, an open open edge right there, which uh, of course is is not good. We'll be fixing that in a bit. Let's select this one, as well as that one. Shift, uh, fill that one in. Now let's select this edge. Alt, middle click that edge, and I'm going to hit Shift D to split that right down the middle. Now, with all of this selected, let's go to Modify, Poly Mesh, and let's weld all boundary points. And that, that did not work out too well. What we're going to do is turn on welding, and we're going to weld that right there. We're going to weld that right there, and there we go. That That is essentially finished. I'm going to freeze modeling on that. I'm going to take these two edges, right click. I'm going to bevel that, increase that distance by a good amount, give it some subdivisions there. And that looks pretty good. That looks similar to what we've got in the picture. I'm going to select this guy over here and I'm going to follow the same uh, procedure. Actually, I don't have to follow the same exact procedure. Since I already closed this one off, I can uh, steal the, the polygons here. Watch, I'll select all the polygons here that are in the front basically all of these okay I'm gonna right click I'm gonna extract polygons I'm gonna keep the old ones 
and I'm going to move these over here and I'm going to go to modify poly mesh and I'm going to invert those okay and what I'm going to do is pretty simple actually I'm going to move my center pivot point right there and then with vertices uh, turned on for the snap options I'm simply going to snap that right there and it's in position now all I have to do is select these two objects let me freeze modeling on those and let me uh, right go ahead alt right click I'll merge these two and I'll put the tolerance to something small I'll delete the original and there we go it's done so now all I really have to do is with those two edges right click I'm gonna bevel actually I can do these two at the same time let me select both both objects here select both of those edges so that we have edges on both together I'm gonna bevel both at the same time okay and uh, for the rounding we'll use four And this one should fit. Actually, it does pretty. It does fit pretty good. So you can see that it fits. It's a. It's a nice, pretty good fit right there. Now all we have to do is come in here and make a few changes to this. We have to make that sort of hollow area inside the cap. So let's take this cap and let's take all the front polygons except for that one and except for that one but we want all of those front polygons right there. And what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to right click and we're going to inset this and we're not going to inset it too much and that doesn't look too good okay forget that control D let's go to instead do this let's take this guy let's freeze its modeling and we have to also freeze its transforms or else it's gonna get all buggy so let's select all of this stuff except of course for that top polygon and that bottom polygon right there let's right click now let's try to inset and it's gonna give us again a nasty result So that, that's not going to work out too well. Let's instead go with Control D and go ahead and scale that in. Something like that uh, will work. Switch to global actually. I think global is probably going to work a lot better. Scale it in just a little bit, and then what we do is Control D and push it in. Let's push it all the way in, and then let's scale this so it becomes kind of flat right there. So we can see it. Yeah, we pushed it in too far. Don't push it in too far. Just a little bit right there. Uh, we'll do it just just good okay so now we have the cat piece and all we have to do is do the same thing over here to this part this part's gonna be different we really can't see it too well uh, in here which can be a little little bit of a problem I guess but not not too much
So let's go ahead and deselect that polygon. Deselect this polygon down here. Make sure you got all these polygons here selected. Before we do anything, we have to freeze modeling and we have to go ahead and freeze all transforms so we don't get anything weird. With all these polygons selected, let's go ahead and control D and let's scale that in. Something like that will work. And let's do it again. Control D, in, and in. Okay? And that's going to be the part that kind of just goes on the inside there. So what we're going to do is hit Control D again and pull this out and scale it in so it's nice and flat. Okay? And pull this in a little bit right there to give it kind of this uh, this detail that's right there because it's got this area right there and it's flat. Okay? So once you got that down, you can see that this is uh, really really cool the way it fits right there so it's something you use for a TV commercial or something if, if you had to do this for an ad alright now next thing is to create this little piece right there and it's gonna be best to create that from a new object so we're gonna create that using a totally new object let's go to primitive polygon mesh And actually, let's go ahead and create that. Let's do another video, and we'll create that final piece in the next video. So, I'll see you there.